Hello there from Tully's Christmas and Becca's going to do our intro. Apparently I am. <laughs> I hadn't really planned on this but we're here, we're at Tully's farm for Christmas. Yeah. A little bit different. We did do this last year though. We're here with Charlie and his gran. Yeah. Who are currently going on the little train ride because it's what Charlie's been looking forward to all year. Yeah. <laughs> the Polar um, Express. Yes, that's what it's called. So what's Charlie going to be doing today? So, we're going to go on a sleigh ride to go meet Santa. We're going to decorate some gingerbread men with Missy's Christmas and make some reindeer food. The Candy Lane Elves Walk <laughs> is probably not at all what it's called. Um, the Christmas Tree Forest and probably so many other things that I've already forgotten about because there's quite a lot to do here. Um, but yeah, loads to do, and Charlie's very excited. Hello everybody! Hi, now my name is Elvie, and I will be your official tour guide on your journey to meet Father Christmas today. Now who's excited to see Father Christmas? Yeah, me too. Now, it's my first time as a sleigh guide, so Father Christmas has given me this very special instruction book. Ooh, yes, very exciting, but I don't need it. I've ridden on sleighs billions of times, but I'll tell you what, there's something a little bit unusual about this sleigh, because there's something very unusual pulling it. Now, that is the funniest looking reindeer I think I have ever seen. What was that? A tractor. Well, oh, maybe I should have double checked my instructions. Oh yes, well it says right here that the reindeer are busy limbering up and getting ready for the big night. You're right, tractors don't fly. Oh no, but if tractors don't fly, then how are we going to get to the North Pole? Everybody panic, go ah! ah what are we going to do? Let me double check again. Oh, I see. It's all right, it says here, Father Christmas has a little holiday home here in the woods at Tully's Farm. So, we don't need to go to the North Pole. Well, that's a good disaster averted. But then how do we say thank you to a tractor? How about some sprouts? No? Broccoli? Oh dear, well there must be something nice we could do. I know. I thought of something very nice that we could do. We could sing the tractor a song. Everybody loves songs, even tractors. Now what song should we sing? How about something Christmassy? Yeah? Do you all know Jingle Bells? Huh? Oh, Christmas tree. Do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah? I know what happens. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your blabbies? We'll be we'll always throw in storm after and winter snow. That was beautiful. Shall we all give away? Wake up, Father Christmas! Oh my goodness me. <coughs> I, I wasn't asleep. I definitely wasn't asleep, Crackers. Oh, yes, you were, Father Christmas. Well, perhaps I was a little bit dreaming about mince pies, you know. You always seem to be asleep when the boys and girls show up, Father Christmas. Ah, well, I, I was catching up. Catching up? Yeah, yes, catching up on my snoozes. Well, more, more sort of storing up my snoozes, actually. Having lots of little Christmassy naps ahead of Christmas Eve so that I can deliver all the boys and girls all their lo lovely presents around the world without dozing off. Forward planning, I like it. Yes, well, there's lots of forward planning at Christmas, isn't there, parents? You know. Oh, yes, there's so much to do, Father Christmas. We still need to check the list. Yes. Oh, we need to make the presents. Yes. Uh, we still need to paint the sleigh. Father Christmas, there is no time at all to sleep. We should really panic. Oh, oh my God. Cracker, crackers, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Everything will be all right. It always is, isn't it? We never let the boys and girls down, do we? We're always delivering their presents on Christmas Eve. Now, children, I would like to tell you a story about a little elf called Tizzy. Now, Tizzy was a worrier. She worried about everything. She worried that her alarm clock wouldn't work in the morning, so she had seven. 
She worried that the little bell on top of her hat would fall off. So she always kept a spare one in her pocket. Look, just like this. She worried that it would rain. So wherever she went every day, she always had an umbrella with her, open just like this, ready to catch the raindrops. Tizzy was a worrier and a wanderer and a fusser and a fretter. She was always fussing and fretting, wasn't she, Crackers? And worrying and wondering. Now one day, Tizzy had a day like no other. She woke up, oh, and she saw that the times on all of her alarm clocks were wrong. On all seven alarm clocks. Oh no, everyone say, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. She thought, I'm going to be late. Today is going to be a terrible day. So she quickly got ready and she ran to the toy workshop where she worked every day. Everyone run like this. That's it, well done, good work mum. I can see you're an elf in training there, well done. And she got to the workshop. Now just before she arrived, it started to rain. It rained very, very heavily like this. Everyone go like this. That's right, it rained ever so heavily. And she got soaking wet. And that's because she'd forgotten her umbrella. Yes, in her rush to get to work. Today, she thought again, it's going to be a terrible day. Now she got to work and she saw all the other elves at the workshop getting nice and ready to start the day. And she looked in the mirror. Oh no. She realised that the bell on top of her hat was missing. I think it had fallen off because she got so soaking wet, everyone. So she had no bell. Oh no, she thought once more. Goodness me, today is truly going to be a terrible day. Not just a terrible day, boys and girls, but the worst day ever. She sat at her desk as miserable as miserable can be. But then... All the other elves did what all the elves are best at, and that's being kind. They made Tizzy a lovely mug of warm, frothy hot chocolate with little marshmallows on the top. They wrapped her up in a big Christmassy blanket to keep her nice and warm while her clothes dried. And they stitched a new bell on top of her hat. And then, boys and girls, they did the most magical thing ever. They sang. They sang all of Tizzy's favourite Christmas songs, including Baby Shark, which I know is not terribly Christmassy, but Tizzy really likes that one. It's a chart topper, so they have to do nice things for her. And Tizzy, well, Tizzy had the best day ever. Do you know why she had the best day, boys and girls? Because all the things she'd been worrying about, they'd already happened, hadn't they? Here she was with her friends singing happily along, Today is a wonderful day, she thought, because Tizzy realised that by always worrying about your tomorrows, you were spoiling your todays, weren't you? Today is a wonderful day. Did you ask for anything? Charlie, what did you ask for? Wow! I'll put in a good word. And the big not, not a little Power Ranger, a big one. A big one. Like What's your favourite colour? Edim. Edim. All of the simple. Oh, wow! I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. I'll put in a good word. What's your favourite colour? Pink. Yeah, yellow? Yeah, you thought about it. Do you like yellow? I sometimes struggle to think too. Black. Black? Black. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that either. I like black too. <laughs> black is dark. Black is dark. Black is dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely on the nice list. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. You're squeaky. How do you do that? Everyone seems to be squeaky here. Right, naughty here. Have things improved? Oh, excellent. Charlie, you're having a good time. Oh, does that need a little bit more racing? Yeah. Sure that.
come to Santa's Christmas postal service to write a letter to Santa. Charlie's given it a really good try. He's only just started reception, so he's only started writing. But he's managed to write his name. He's tipped that he's been very good and that he'd like Transformers for Christmas. And now we need to post it, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to meet the magical postman, I think. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Postman Pat, apparently. <laughs> I think it might be disappointing. So for anyone that's familiar with Tully's Shocktoberfest, this is usually the creepy cottage, but today it's where we'll be posting letters to Santa. Absolutely. Well, nice to meet you. My name's Marvin, Marvin Mail. All right, I'm the postman here at the post office. Now, are we going to post that letter to Father Christmas? Yeah. Excellent. Do you mind if I have a look? Let's have a look. All right. Santa. Charlie. Excellent. Charlie, it says here you've been very good. Is that right? Yes. yes. Grown ups, is that right? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Spot on. Very good. Very yeah. sure. All right. Well, that's all right then. Okay. I've got to stamp this. We've got to make it official. Okay. So I'm going to stamp it. Oh, this way. That's it. Lovely. Okay, excellent. Alright. Uh, this is Excellent. Alright. Another one there. And another one there. Excellent. Alright, well, that's all official. Alright, let's do a little swap. I'll take that. And then you take that. Very nice. Alright, now we need to go and find the post box. So, follow me. It's this way. We've got a magical post. Now, it's a short journey, so we'll play a little song. One of my favourites. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. So. What I'm gonna do, just a little special treat for you. I'm gonna go to Father Christmas, all right? I'll tell him that you've been so good. And for that, he will send you a little reply. He'll send you a letter back. How does that sound? Sure. Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, listen, you've all been fantastic. Thank you so much for coming down, paying us a visit, all right? I'm the only one not on the strike today, so never mind. <laughs> but thank you so much. You let out that way. Have a lovely day. I've got to get much. back to work. I've got lots to do. Lots of <laughs> Charlie's fed the reindeers enough with that bag. I think they might be on a diet after this. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. He's keeping them well fed because he's leaving them carrots as well, he's said already. So. Excellent. Yeah. Are you happy with that, little man? 
So we've come to the end of our half day here at Tully's Farm Christmas. You had a good time, little man. You had fun? Yeah, he says yes very quietly. Been good to see Santa? Yeah. So he's uh, obviously camera shy, he's not quite practiced on the vlogging yet. So uh, yeah, it's a really good event. If you've got a small family, Charlie's four. I'm not sure exactly what age you'd say you'd recommend it up to, but from pretty much baby up to at least six or seven. Yeah. I definitely recommend it. And Charlie's all fascinated with the Christmas tree behind us. So just a quick one to say thanks to Ed for sorting us out for visiting today. Always appreciated. And that's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a like and we'll see you in the next PV video.